Now we see shuttle mode which provides functions for copying all files. Okay. To copy files and folders in python we have to import shuttle model. Shuttle.copy copies source file to destination as well as shuttle.copy tree copies entire folder to the destination. Now we see how to copy one file to another file. Import shuttle comma OS. Two models you have to import. Shuttle to make use of copy and move functions and OS to make use of change directory means directory related functions. Now OS starts change directory here changes directory to root here there are two backslashes two backslashes given to make use of one backslash because if we just provide one backslash it is not sufficient backslash is the escape sequence character therefore two backslash need to be used everywhere when you are going to show the path you have to make use of two backslash okay i have executed this uh, copying files and folders in a my own in my own folder okay for example os dot change directory os dot change directory changes the path to d drive okay here and then there is a file called as first dot r in student folder therefore i'm going to copy that file to research folder okay there is a file called as abc.txt I am going to write that file to abc2.txt. Okay. Here we can see abc.txt file copied as abc2.txt. After execution, abc.txt and abc2.txt will have same content. Okay. And first.r file is available in the student folder it is copied to research folder you can see in the research folder where first dot r file is available which is copied from student folder shuttle dot copy tree function allows us to copy entire folder to another folder for example shuttle dot copy tree the source folder which is available in student folder okay in d in d in student folder in source folder whatever files are there if you want to copy that entire folder okay to bake on backup this is a new folder then you can give copy tree command okay during execution of this the source entire folder entire folder content will be copied to bake on backup folder if you see this, there is a bacon backup created, the folder is created, which is having both the file that is content of student's source folder. Okay. Moving and renaming the files and folders can also be done in shuttle mode. Okay. Shuttle.move moves the file from source path to destination path. For example, here shuttle.move moves bacon.txt which is available in C drive to X folder which is available in C drive. The file is moved. You know that shuttle.copy copies the file but shuttle.move moves the file. The after moving, the file will not exist in the source path. It will exist in the destination path. If you see move command here for example import shuttle shuttle dot move d student in the source folder a particular file if you want to move you see here 
in the source folder which is in the student folder there are two files abc and abc2.txt this is before moving now we are moving abc.txt from source path to backup backup okay when you execute this when you execute this from source path it moves to backup backup okay there was error uh, uh, there was extra single code therefore therefore it is giving the error okay that error is corrected now if you run the file from source student folder will be moved to backup backup here it is showing once again error indicates that the file is exists because in destination path that file is already exists see we already moved so we already copied source path to backup backup therefore whatever file was there in the source folder was copied to backup backup therefore it is showing it as file already exists okay therefore now we have to either change the file path where the file should be moved okay instead of giving backup backup i give folder name as student okay i give folder name as student now whatever file you are moving from source folder whatever file we are try to move from source file folder it is moved to destination folder that is student folder okay it is moved to student folder if you see in student folder which is available in d drive it contain abc.txt which is moved from source folder in source folder abc.txt file is not available to permanently delete files and folders we have to use os.unlink to delete the file and os.rmdir to remove the folder okay remove folder or to remove a particular path okay if you give os.rmdir the folder should be empty okay only empty folder it deletes if you give shutil. rm tree with a particular path then it removes the entire folder including files okay whatever files are available in the folder also will be deleted now here os.unlink deletes abc.txt from source folder which is available in student folder os.rmdir removes student folder and then shutil.rm tree removes entire source folder even though it contains some files okay but to remove student folder student folder should be empty student folder should be empty now we see whether student folder is empty no student folder is not empty it is having some content if you want to remove a particular folder you have to try with a empty folder i am going to create a empty folder okay uh, by name ss a folder is created by name ss now you just give ss as the folder name instead of student okay ss is empty folder that folder will be removed if you give d colon double backslash ss now you see that d colon double backslash ss it is available in student folder therefore you have to give full path of that folder okay you have to give full path of the folder copy this path student path you copy okay now in the student folder ss folder is there it will be removed okay now now here shutil.rm3 
will remove entire folder which is available in student folder even though it contains some file okay now we execute this unlink command will delete the file okay now we see uh, why it is not removing because it is cannot find the file specified abc.txt in the source folder now we see in the source folder which is available in student folder abc2.txt file is there okay therefore we have to give proper file name okay if the file does not available it can't remove okay give the file name as abc2.txt now you run see it removes abc2.txt and remove directory ss and remove entire folder source we will check it okay in the source folder in the student see entire source folder entire source folder is removed because we have given the student source entire source folder is removed it contained abc.txt it is already removed okay and an ss folder also removed okay you can see a ss folder which was there also removed okay if you want to list directories available in the particular folder then you have to tell os dot list directory you can see here you are first changing the directory to student folder and then you are going to give os dot list directory which list the contents of student directory okay these are all contents of student folder or student directory in this code if you want to delete a particular file which ends with the dot txt uh, here it deletes the files which ends with the dot txt which is available in the current folder now current folder is d colon student okay student we are in the student folder okay first it lists all the directories of student folder and from that for each file it checks whether the file ends with the dot txt extension if file name dot ends with the dot txt extension then it prints the file okay now it for currently it prints the file if you want to delete if you want to delete the particular file then you have to give os dot unlink os dot unlink give os dot unlink with the same file name okay then it deletes the file which is available with the dot txt extension it deletes all the file which is with the dot txt extension which is available in the current folder now current folder is d student you can see in the student folder in the student folder if you refresh student folder okay it removed all the files with the dot txt extension if you want to remove the file with the docs extension okay instead of dot txt you can tell docs d o c s to delete the file which ends with the extension dot docs you have to give dot docs now in the folder in current folder student folder there is a qp os2 dot docs file okay pre test qp os2 dot docs file if you want to delete this file in the python you are going to first list the directories list all the directories and in that you are getting file with the extension docs and then you are using os dot unlink with the file name okay if you run this it deletes the file with the docs extension you can see in the folder the fi file was available it is not available now okay the file is deleted 